Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. It is approximately 4.49 a.m. in the morning. I didn't have any time to make a video last night. Uh, actually, no, I, I lied. Um, I actually had an hour. An hour to uh, work on the Colony Duna thing. So that will be coming out soon. <laughs> I don't know how much you can do in an hour for KSP, but well, yeah. Um, so this video is actually a tutorial on how to make transparent flags. A lot of people have been asking me, uh, how do you make your flags? Where do you get your flags from? All this other good stuff. So I'm going to make a quick tutorial on how to make transparent flags in this, uh, in this video. Okay. So right now I'm, I'm running on windows 10, right? And windows 10 comes with this little neat program called edit with window paint 3d or edit, edit with paint 3d It's basically PC paint on steroids and it comes with the windows 10 download. I don't know if it comes with the pirated windows 10, but I know the legit windows 10 comes with that download or not. Well, that program, excuse me. Ooh, it's early in the morning. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I have a little thing right here that already goes into PC paint. I'm going to go into PC paint first. You can do this by uh, right clicking on something and it says edit on the bottom. You can click on that and it'll go, it'll take you to PC paint, but this is the original PC paint. This is not the 3d version. The reason why I'm doing this is because for me personally, it's easier to make uh, transparent stuff. If I already have the picture for it rather than going into the 3d thing. Now that's just me because I'm an old fart. I'm used to this, but, uh, f you know, once you start doing your own thing, you start, you'll start coming up with your own way of making it work for you. Yes. I understand. It's, it's now five o'clock. Yes. Okay. Here we go. So we're going to do something real quick. We're going to just go ahead and, uh, we're just going to put a name down here. Um, actually let's just go, let's do something new. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Okay. NCC. Let's do the NCC one. Someone said that NCC meant uh, like naval something contract. I thought that was pretty cool. No, Spartan. Spartan 117. And we're going to make it smaller. So I'm going to go up here and make it smaller. Eh, not too small though. That's fine. Move that up. Okay. So I'm going to hit the select. going to grab it. Now if you're wondering where I get my fonts from, there are links well i'm not gonna put any links in the bottom of the description you know just in case my links are bad and they end up giving you a horrible horrible computer cold but you can go to google and you can look for free fonts and just to like i said make sure that the website is legit and there's usually uh free fonts you can download from Google. And if you want to figure out how to actually put them into your computer, you can look that up on YouTube. There's plenty of tutorials on that, but I'm not going to cover that for today. Not enough time. All right. So we got our flag, right? It's kind of in its dimension of flag. It doesn't have to be exact. Just make sure it's, it looks like, you know, kind of, kind of wide, uh, flagish size. So we're going to go ahead and save this and we'll just do it. Uh, uh, test flag, make sure it's PNG, save type PNG. All right. So now that that's saved onto my desktop, I don't need that anymore. I'm going to right click and I'm going to edit with the, uh, paint 3d paint, uh, program that comes with windows 10. Okay. So first thing we want to do is select your canvas up here. I'm just going to square that off a little bit better. Now on the right hand side, you see canvas. It says transparent canvas. You want to click on that. You want to go to your magic select top left corner. You want to bring this selecting box down and up and just, uh, make sure you get as close to what you want, what you want selected. And what the program will do is it will try to figure out what it is you want selected, what's background and what's not background hit next. And as you can see, it didn't really know what the hell it wanted. It wanted me to select it. So I'm going to help it. I'm going to make sure my thing is refine your out, your cutout. I'm going to have the add and remove tool. I'm going to click on add while it's already clicked. 
so that's okay. And I'm going to make sure it knows that I want the black part selected from this picture. I don't want the background showing, so I'm going to click remove and remove this color from the picture. Oop. There we go. So, you know, when you see my uh, when you when you see my uh, uh, thumbnails and you see the lettering, this is how I do it. Literally, I have to, I repaint the lettering. So, all that all the colorful lettering and stuff, that's all custom. Uh, so we go done since we have everything we want selected done and now what this essentially does is it removes it from the picture because it's 3d now right so it's literally its own entity from the 3d uh, environment so we're going to take that we're going to move it out of the way we're going to go to brushes on the top left we're going to select the eraser and we're going to make it thick very very thick and now because of the fact that we had already selected the canvas to be transparent, when we erase something, it's transparent. Everything is gone. Come back to your top left select. Select your, your little thing that you've already magically uh, taken out 3D wise. You can see it's kind of popping out a little bit. That's fine. We'll just go ahead and click on this icon right here the z-axis position and hold on to it oh I can't see where I'm going but okay <laughs> we'll just make it uh, a little a little smaller by backing it up a little bit there we go okay that's fine just square it up real good so now that you have a transparent background and you have your thing that you've selected in front you can now uh, save it as is and it will become a transparent flag. So you go here to menu, top left, save as, image. Notice how it's transparent in the back. It's got the little checkered thing going on. You want to save it. We'll save it as test. Flag. And I'm going to put number two. And it's 2D PNG. I'll hit save. I know you're hungry, okay? I haven't eaten in a while, I'm sorry. I mean, I do mean a while. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and click out. It's gonna ask me to save my work. Um, I'm not coming back here because I already got what I wanted, so I'm not gonna save it. All right, so now we have the test flag that's transparent. It's test flag two. We're gonna open up KSP and Oh shit. No, don't open up KSP. Wrong, 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 wrong. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, go away. We're gonna go into our uh, files, games, window games, KSP, uh, solar colony, okay. KSP Windows 64, game data, uh, squad, and flags. And these are our flags. So we're gonna take the transparent one that we just made and put it in here. There it is. Now start up the game. Okay, now let's go ahead into our flags and see, uh, we'll see what we got. Let's go ahead and make something for the flags to go on. So let's select a flag. Nice and get a big, there we go. Now let's right click on the flag, set flag, and here we are. Test flag number two. And then accept. Okay, let's change the color of this real quick. And of course, make that transparent. Transparent background. There you go. So this has been a very quick tutorial on how to make transparent background flags for your uh, KSP game on PC and uh, on Windows 10. I would imagine that many people right now are running on Windows 10. Those of you who are not, I apologize. I, I know you're kind of like a little bit aggravated right now, like, damn it. But I don't know, maybe you can download um, PC, 3D PC Paint from the internet. I mean, it's 
uh, I've never tried to download it separately from inter from the internet, but it's a possibility. But anyway, this has uh, been this quick tutorial for transparent flags in KSP. Uh, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. If you liked what you saw, please consider sharing this with a friend and uh, liking the video. All right, everyone have a wonderful day. Love you all. Please be safe and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye.